It's a unique way to harness energy. Get this. Special turbines are being used to capture the breeze created by passing vehicles. Right. You've all been there, right? When a car right. goes by, sure. like, oh, you can feel your hair wind. goes. To share more insight on how this could make every road, bridge, building, or tower a wind farm, we want to welcome in Barry Thompson, CEO of what's called Alpha 311. Or is it is it Alpha 311? Uh, Alpha 311. Okay, Alpha 311. I want to make sure I get that uh, right. So how, how did this idea to harness power from passing cars, that, that's, that's, I mean, now that I think of it, I'm like, it's oh, like, yeah, that makes it's sense. Like, Oh, it came from actually following a large truck uh, down the highway here in the UK. And you can see just all the disturbance of air behind it and what it does to the trees. And it was quite simply asking the question, why has nobody done this before? Yeah, I mean, just like cars, they leave a wake, like airplanes leave a wake, right? Yep. There's energy that is coming yep. off of these. So tell us about these unique designs of the turbines and how they can really be deployed almost anywhere. Well, the key with the turbine is that you're using the infrastructure that's already in place. So the street lights are already in the road. They're already connected to the grid with a cable under the ground. So we're just utilizing the existing uh, infrastructure and we're mounting the turbines directly on them. They only weigh around 80 pounds. So it's very, very light in compared with uh, a lot of the larger turbines. And then quite simply, as a car goes past, that airflow that's being displaced causes the turbine to rotate. Now, the great thing about this is that the best way to make a turbine more efficient is to make it go faster. Well, a car coming in the opposite direction, traveling at a similar speed, is doing exactly the same thing. So you've now got double the amount of airflow impacting the turbine, and there's up to eight times more volume of air that you can convert into energy. So, I mean, this is going to be a simple question, but... I mean, they're smaller. Yeah, how much energy? How much can energy they, can yeah. they really obtain harness, or harness? Yeah. So you, you're looking around 10 kilowatt hours on average. Uh, some days there'll be no cars. Some days there'll be no wind. So we, we tend to look at what the average is. The key is, is that you can put a turbine every 35 meters or every 70 feet on each of the lighting columns and make use of all of that available space. So how it's much endless. would you be able to power, though? Like, I don't, kill, 10 kilowatt hours, yeah, you know. Yeah, relate that to something. Is it, it equate to? Well, um, it, yeah, in, in, the UK, in the UK, it's about the average UK home okay. uh, per turbine per day. And in five miles, you can put around 180 turbines. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, that's incredible. So and, and there, kind of talk to us a little bit about these sensors that can be fitted on the turbines. What are those for? So you can use them for multiple things. So you can monitor the road vibration or the traffic flow, but you can also mo uh, specifically monitor air quality as well. So you're, you're providing a service whereby if there's a buildup of particulates and the wind is blowing in a certain direction, you can now help uh, provide a health alert. But in the same way, monitoring the uh, vibration levels on the road tells you when potholes are forming. Now, oh, wow. you can then fill the pothole in a much more timely manner, yeah. but it also reduces the amount of litigation for all the damage that the potholes are doing. So it's, a, it's a win-win with regards to the sensors. It win, seems like win, a win-win-win-win. Maybe another win. With some wind. With the wind. With wind. Yeah, it's a win-win. Yeah, all right. Barry Thompson. The, 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 th yeah, go ahead. The, the key is, is, is that you're getting a, an actual benefit from the energy and the service that's being produced where you are. Mm. If somebody puts a 40-acre solar panel next to my house here in the UK, I don't see any drop in my electricity pricing. But by putting turbines and uh, local energy generation in this way, you're seeing a direct benefit for the local communities. Absolutely. Barry wants. Thompson, CEO of Alpha 311, thank you so much for joining us today. Very cool technology. My pleasure.